寄せ江戸天聖Make sure I go ahead and check out our Patreon for exclusive <laughs> access to full length reactions and some exclusive reactions that don't even hit YouTube. Make sure I go ahead and click that link. Appreciate y'all and back to your record schedule program. What's going on, y'all? It's Reanimation Boy Sherm, aka Sherm Kage. I'm here with some more Squid Game. Last time on Squid Game, we saw uh, Sung Woo. Song Woo? Song Sang Woo. Cho Sang Woo. Excuse me. We saw Sang Woo uh, come up with a plan basically to overcome their uh, basically deficit in Tug of War. So they're about to get pulled over the edge, and he's like, look, bro. I know it sounds crazy, but we need to all take three steps forward. When I count to three, just do it. And obviously people were like, nah, bro, you're tripping. But he's like, look, just trust me. We need to do this so that we can get out of this alive. So, boom. They take three steps on the count of three, move forward, cut the episode, ultimate cliffhanger. Um, I wanted to react to it, like, right after I had finished that. But uh, I don't know what happened. I just kind of <laughs> lost track of time, I guess. And I got caught up doing something else. I can't remember what it was, but... Anyway, I'm going to try and knock out as many episodes today as I can just so I can go ahead and uh, knock these edits out and get ahead of that. Um, without any further ado, let's see where our gang left off at from last week's episode. Or not last week, but the last episode that you guys saw. Um, hopefully not a week ago. <laughs> that means I had something happen with the edits. But uh, let's get right into it. Episode 5 of Fair World. Go-go-go. Netflix series now. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. They were mad close to take three steps forward, too. Like, go. Woo. Now, pull. Nice. I feel bad that I'm rooting for them because, like, <laughs> this is other people that are about to die because of this, but. Yeah, he's, like, in his head seeing, like, how fucked up this is, too. Jeez. Guillotine? You're just going to take your time, huh? <laughs> that would have been so fucked if they just let them both, like, both teams dangle and they were like, all right, cut the rope. That old man is loving this shit, bro. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that adrenaline pumping, bro. I would have been fucking insane going, trying to do this. Like, I'd be like, bro, there's no fucking way we just won. Episode 5 A Fair World. Farewell, Fair World. Ooh. Man, got that rope burn. Oh, God. Here goes the atheist. <laughs> Do you know how I know that you're an atheist? Because you told me. 막판에 기가 막힌 잔머리 보이기신 저 아주 수도 없고 이러고 그... 길이든 어리냐 넌 오늘 십자가에 못 박힌 사람들의 통곡이 들리지 않... 뒤에 많은 우리 모두를 대신하여 내가 그들의 희생과 주님의 선택에 갑... 지소연을 죽여놓고 아... <laughs> this bitch is annoying, bro. <laughs> I thought this so shook because they all know that they shouldn't have won. Like, they know that the other team 
was the team that was supposed to just based off of strength alone, but they were able to think and operate better than they were. Stop talking to me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I already know that girl's gonna have smoke with homie. He's, she gonna be like, hey, motherfucker, guess who's still alive? Guess not. <laughs> that was more tame than I expected. Okay, so it looks like they're doing it how I thought they were gonna do it, where it's like there's only gonna be one round uh, per matchup. I'm assuming that's number 28. Wait, that one's got a cross on it. Oh, that must be a false furnace. Yep. Okay. Okay, not a false furnace, but a false bottom in the furnace. Get the doctor. Was he supposed to be breathing? I'm confused. <laughs> Let him talk, bitch. <laughs> He's like, yo, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead. Call on the shit, Ali. <laughs> yes. oh, here we go. I like intelligence, so I'm going to result to a racist insult. <laughs> I don't know what egalitarian is, but okay. <laughs> Don't call me babe. Minyoy. 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 Jeez. I don't know why I struggle with that so much. <laughs> Mobile sound like Doodle Bob and shit. Minyoy, Minyoy. He's like, hmm, sounds familiar, motherfucker. I remember someone who had an inclination as to what was going to happen next. <laughs> yeah, we might as well keep him drenched, right? <laughs> I can't wait to see what they come up with. They made this whole entire environment modular specifically for when shit would break out like this. <laughs> I didn't think so. Now put the wall up. Put the wall up, yeah. Psychological warfare, baby. <laughs> he was thirsty for the kill, god damn. My man's couldn't wait. He said, boss, boss, what are, what are we getting first? Send it down. Hold up. Something ain't right. So I'm trying to figure out what's up with the dude they said wasn't breathing. Like, was he supposed to be breathing? <laughs> what type of... They got to be selling the, the organs on the black market and then splitting the funds between the square triangle and circles that are in on this shit, at least. Mm. 
우리가 초장부터 노인 내려 입고 어떻게 두 다리 뻗고 잡니까? 나도 같이 할게. 나 지금 안 졸려. 그걸 다음에 내가 할 테니까. 내가 그렇게 하시죠. 28 and 29 will have another moment. <laughs> hey, who grabbed me? Corn on the cob? To pay you back. I thought it was be to pay him back for the damn ticket, for the bus fare. Okay, there we go. Haha, I was right. We'll split it. <laughs> this motherfucker just broke a whole corn on the cob in half one week. Nice. Nigga, I was broke. <laughs> what you want me to say? Pakistani, mama, papa, friends, baby, is there? Baby, is there? I hope Ali makes it, bro. <sighs> Your boy got into a lot of debt. <laughs> Bro, I would have been lost in this shit a long time ago. Damn, nigga, get that shot in my face. Sorry, y'all had a bug. A little gnat gnat. That bitch open up. Oh, no. He don't got it. <laughs> the fuck did he do? Jesus. That is heart. Yep. No! It's just me. I'm waking you up, bro. <laughs> These niggas on EC duty. I'm fucking weak. If y'all was in the Air Force, a basic training, the EC duty is when um, you had to wake up at night and basically patrol the dorms. Um, and everybody has to do the duty at some point in time. So they'll wake the next person up and be like, hey, bro, it's your turn. And it's like two hour rotations. Yeah, they got a whole fucking operation going on here. Nigga, is that a smoke bomb? Is he hallucinating? Am I tripping? <laughs> yeah, he's tripping. He probably fell asleep on post and is having a dream right now or some shit. They be like, wake up, wake up, Jihan. I mean. <laughs> mm. oh, 
It's like it was daydreaming, like. Challenge of our soul. What happened? This ain't work for Kia. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, it must have been tough for sure. Your income for 10 years is now just completely gone, so you gotta do something different. Oh, y'all actually raided and took over the factory. Wow. Yeah, my friend. Oh man, he is not long for this world. Mm. Oh man, don't let the old man die. You got to go look for the doctor. Damn. A fucking crowbar, bro? For a cop, that wasn't a very smart thing to say. Like, you know you're impersonating somebody right now, right? <laughs> They're like, this nigga. Yo, bro is about to catch some bodies. Yo, if he don't wake up, I'm gonna be fucking sick, bro. Huh? Suit yourself? Of course not. <laughs> He's like, you piece of work. You got some plum fucking nerve. A secret doorway. Nice. Oh, that's not the doorway. Fuck. Mm. 
Bro, he um, lost his fucking mind, bro. Yeah, you ain't making it to that next game, bro. You definitely not making it to that next game. This whole operation just went to shit now. Now we die. Oh, <laughs> Bro, this whole operation is fucked. And who the fuck are you? <laughs> Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know him? But what about morning roll <laughs> I don't believe that for some reason. Actually, no, I do believe that. That was his brother? Oh, fuck. It was his brother. He better be lying, bro. I mean, you scumbag too. What you mean? You gonna show him your face? Oh, you a wild boy. You a wild fucking boy. He's like, hmm, I guess you're right. <laughs> nah, pick, pick that back up, because we're going to have to explain why a crowbar is up here. Oh. Oh, shit. Y'all niggas are sick. Shoot him anyway. That boy cold, man. <sighs> he said, thanks for the info. Gotta love a villain with a point. No, please. I'm sorry. Oh. Come on, bro. You know the rules. Don't ever show your face. Go back to your room. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't know they was gonna kill him for real. He just gave a whole speech about how they, he gonna let people play fair and then, well, I guess homie did cheat technically because he got uh, inside knowledge and shit. Uh oh. What was that sound? <laughs> you would have been fucked if he was in that room right now, too. This fancy ass room.
Number 29. No, he's here. Oh, man. You want to check the caliber of the bullet, too? He's like, hmm, we don't have these guns here. This is a police round. We got a police officer among us. This man too smart. Meow, meow. Oh, shit. Now you fucked up. That's some wild shit to wake up to, bro. That old man struggling, too. Oh, they got the Mac? The iMac? Okay. Excuse me. Bro. <laughs> that is so overwhelming. I would be like, where the fuck do I even start? 1998, 1999. They have fucking graduating classes of players pretty much. All right, bro, you know 1999 is not the year you need to be in. The Squid Archives. Twenty twenty. So this has been going on for at least 20 years. Well, y'all know 28 in there, so. 29. Nothing. God damn it, he's in my room. Everybody, get the fuck up out of here. I can't. He's on his way out, bro. That can't be right. Bro, you just went through 498 or however many pages it was, 456. Special document. Hold up, bro. <laughs> hold the fuck up. Brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, did this motherfucker's brother... Holy shit, I think I just figured this shit out. So, this Squid Game shit has been going on for so long. Like, fucking years. Like, obviously, like, I think it went back to 98. It probably went back before that, too, but... If you win the game, you get all the money, but you also have the option to take over or like whoever is the the man in the front, as he calls himself, the one in all black or whatever, whoever that person is, rotates and switches. So maybe his brother is the man in the front. And when he looked at the body and took that bullet out of the head, he saw like, oh shit, this is a the bullet from a police gun issue, or excuse me, a police gun issue to my brother, or I know my brother has a similar gun. My brother had to have come in here, and if he's a cop and he's here, he's probably looking for me. And if he was looking for me, he would be looking in the records office, which is where homie just went. Um, so, wow, holy shit. This shit is getting crazier and crazier. And the old man, he's on his last leg. Like, I already know he's, he's out the door. Um, like he just looks like he, I mean, he can't control his bodily functions anymore. Uh, he's running a fever. Um, I think his, his cancer is, is spreading to the point where it's like, he can't function normally anymore. 
Um, so he's definitely on the way out, unfortunately, because I, I definitely I rock with the grandpa. He's cool. He's a good he's a good character um, for the story. But all good things come to an end, unfortunately. Um, that whole situation with the doctor was crazy. As soon as he went crazy, I was like, yeah, this shit is out the window, bro. Like everybody's going to die. Like <laughs> Everyone's dead. There's no fucking way, bro, because like you you have to keep in mind, like. The dude, the square that was monitoring the camera probably had a specific path set up for them to follow because those were the cameras that he was monitoring and he knew, okay, I can delete these uh, cameras' footage and cover for y'all. However, if y'all go a different route, I can't control who sees what. So he was probably like, hey, we got some motherfuckers out here acting crazy. I don't know what's going on, bro. So he reported it and kind of covered his own ass and that resulted in the two triangles and the uh in 28 dying so wow this is this shit is crazy y'all like this this story is coming full circle and i'm definitely here for it i'm definitely involved and i'm enjoying the direction it's going in but yeah my theory as of right now is the man in the front um is a position that rotates um people that win the game uh probably probably have the option to uh assume that role should the previous man in front decide not to or, or or whatever but um yeah, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. I'm definitely enjoying it, and I'm, and I'm along for the ride. But um, that's all I got for this uh, reaction. I'm going to go ahead and roll right into episode six. So make sure I go ahead, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you all thought about this episode of Squid Game. I'll be back with episode number six very soon, so make sure I'll stay tuned for that. Hit that link down in the description below for all of our late links to the channel. Hit that instant aim link as well for 10% off store-wide using promo code RAMINI10. That's all I got. RAMINI10 out. Appreciate it. <laughs>